Hi Fire Signs, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe, it's Miyansa. Welcome new viewers and subscribers. This is an extended to your pop-up love reading for September. All right, we will do each sign. We'll do Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, okay? We won't do a collective because the collective um, was already done in the short. And if you haven't seen it, check the link in the description and you can go see that, okay? All right, I'm open for personal readings. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation, book a personal reading with me. Let's jump into it. All right, starting with Leo. Pop-up love reading for Leo, September 2022. All right, the energy for you in September, Leo. Surrender to the divine. There are still some things you got to let go of and release. The time to give rather than take. Give those things to spirit. I know you want to take your blessings. Take everything you pray for. Take, you know, what's owed to you. But there are still some things you got to give. And I feel like that's really prominent with surrender to the divine. Okay. And also, you might be giving more, possibly giving more money. Giving more time to your family and loved ones. Giving more tithes and offerings and things of that nature. Giving more time to spirit and meditating. Possibly writing and journaling. Okay, there is a win-win outcome that is forecast for you, Leo. And it's a time for healing. So a lot of surrendering to the divine, a lot of healing, a lot of um, giving, a lot of things being balanced with the win-win outcome. Okay, there is a fiery climax approaching as well. So that's the overall energy for September. What's the energy in your love life? Okay. How are the people around you treating you? How are they making you feel in September? What's going on in love for Leo, September 2022? Acceptance. Okay, so you might be finding more people like you. Your soul tribe, your soul family. You're accepting certain people, places, things, and situations. People are accepting you and you're feeling very loved. It's after this deep dive of figuring out yourself, after surrendering over to spirit, after healing, after some things that needed to be given instead of taken, okay? I like it. So, in regard to Leo's love life... What does that storyline look like in September? <laughs> Where is Leo in, in love? All right, tell me Leo's story. Okay, Leo. <laughs> Leo. We have the Ace of Swords, clarity, communication, and also cutting some things off. And, need, and needing to be very strong. That's your card. Strength. All right. And balance. And also holding your boundaries very high. I feel like there may be trials and tribulations. But it's all for stability. Okay. All for, you know, money, assets, monetary things, stability, saving, planning, investing. Really guarding yourself and loving yourself. I feel like there is an earth sign. A Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Who likes you a lot with the lovers. Okay? What I'm seeing is, is... Part of you is like... I feel like part of you... I hear I don't have time. I don't have time. What don't you have time to do, Leo? All right, give whatever has been taking your time to the divine. Is that what that is? All right, because we have the lovers here. There's somebody here who likes you. Tell me more about this person that is liking on Leo in September or the energy of love for Leo in September. The Four of Wands, a relationship. This person really likes you or the energy is, there is a loving relationship energy coming to you in September. Coming to you with the chariot fast. It could be a Cancer, a fire sign, another Leo. It could be an earth sign as well. Ten of Pentacles, this person has abundance. They have their own. They have money. They may have children as well, but I feel like this person will want all of those things with you, Leo. 
It's up to you if you're ready. Are you ready, Leo? All right. Give me some messages for Leo in September. Tell me about what is coming to Leo in September. What's happening for Leo in September? What's happening to Leo in September 2022? Could be a Gemini. We did see the lovers. Okay. What else? I talked to my family about you. I talked to my family about us. This person is talking to their family about you guys' relationship. This person is talking to their family members about you, Leo. <laughs> I secretly want to get you pregnant. I secretly want to get pregnant by you. Somebody wants to have that family with you, Leo. I see it. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, I could fuck you all day, Leo. All day. This person is so very attracted to you. Hmm. What else we got? Squirt. And they want to make you squirt. That somehow they, they want to see if you about that life, Leo. So please be careful because somebody secretly wants to get somebody pregnant. Somebody secretly wants to get pregnant. So they trying to see if you about that life, Leo. And no one else can have you. Very possessive. I know you like I know you like that, Leo. This person is ten toes down about you. They're not gonna be playing any games about you. They're not gonna be playing any games. This person really accepts you for who you are. That's how you, remember I asked, how are these people in your environment making you feel? We got acceptance. You feel very loved and accepted by this person. Very beautiful energy. All right, I like it, Leo. So we saw Gemini, Earth, Fire, Leo, Air, Cancer. Beautiful. Okay. I see Virgo and Libra, but it's a time for healing. There is a win-win outcome forecast. There's a time to give rather than take and surrender over to the divine. All right, Leo, we're moving on. I think I said we're going to do Aries next. Let's do Aries. Okay, Aries. Here is the extended to your pop-up love reading for September. How are you guys doing? If you hadn't seen the short that I created for you, um, check out the link in the description box and go see the short and hop back over here and, and watch the rest of this. All right. What's the energy for Aries in September? You could be dealing with the Leo. We have don't, don't let pride get in your way. All right. Full moon in Leo. Believe in the impossible. Okay. The other side of pride is fear. So don't let pride get in your way of you missing out on an opportunity. Don't let pride get in your way of somebody coercing you to do something that you didn't really want to do in the first place. All right. But you're just doing it because... <sighs> Your pride wouldn't let you not do it. Really put your pride on the back burner. This is all about authenticity. So believe in the impossible. Let's see the people around you, the people in your environment, the people surrounding you. How are you feeling in September? What's the energy in your love life? How will you be feeling? How are these people making you feel? This is for Aries in September. What's the energy of love? Free spirit. You're feeling very free, but I hear very social as well. You're like a butterfly. You can hang around in a couple different social crowds. We have blessings. So you being this free spirit and doing what you like to do, doing what you love to do, not letting pride get in your way, is really going to bring forth a lot of blessings. I feel like there is a free a person who has a very free spirit. I feel like it's a child, though. It's very important, okay? It could be a Sagittarius. All right. This is your 18 plus messages. What's coming in for Sagittarius? They said, I like when you ride it. So in September, somebody's thinking this, saying this, feeling this, wanting this. It could be you or them. I like when you ride it, Aries, okay? It says, spit on my tip. This is what you're doing. This is what they're doing. All right. And then, whew, 
It would be the fire signs. I'm low-key crazy. I'm low-key crazy, Aries. So, wow. Ta-da. Watch out now. <laughs> okay. It's just something about our makeup sex. Y'all are making up in September. Okay. They said they were crazy. It's y'all sneaky link. Okay, it's y'all sneaky link. That's who it is. Tell me more. And they're dreaming about you. Are you having dreams in September about someone, your ex, or a sneaky link? Because I'm kind of I'm kind of getting a little bit of separate energy. So some of you Aries, this person who's like it's something about our makeup sex is an ex. Others of you, there is a sneaky link. Okay. What else? Magical D. Y'all are receiving magical D in September. Y'all are, I don't know what y'all doing. Maybe y'all drinking a lot of water. Some of y'all men are probably eating pineapples as well, but somebody is giving magical D in September. I ain't never tried an Aries before. I masturbate beforehand, so I last longer. So this person don't last long if they don't masturbate beforehand. So somebody got that good, good. Somebody got that good, okay? September is going to be wow, wow, wow. What is Rihanna? Pisces? Okay. So we already got Leo. I'm hearing Pisces. Virgo. What's coming in for Aries in September in love? What's going on for Aries in love? We have the Five of Wands. This is your energy. So why are you in this Five of Wands chaotic, competitive energy? The Ten of Swords. Someone hurt you and you're angry. You want things to be balanced. They will be. I feel like this is why I don't let pride get in your way because I feel like somebody did you wrong or they hurt you or maybe there's a breakup and you want to get back at this person or you want to clap back at this person but it's your pride telling you to do this but spirit is saying don't let pride get in your way i'm not saying you can't clap back at them but i'm saying be able to move on and rebalance reposition refocus and move on six of swords okay leave i see libra uh showing up heavy heavy in the game all right Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. There could be a water sign coming in to save the day, help you, heal you, fix you. Okay, and we have Sagittarius coming in to bring you balance and patience. So September is really a month of balance. It's really a month of balance and peace. Try to be balanced, try to be peaceful because I'm seeing there are a couple of things being thrown your way. We already saw the Five of Wands. Here's the Five of Swords, Mind Games. Try to be balanced, try to be peaceful. Do not let your pride and your ego get in your way this month because I see you might be tested, okay? But it's all it's all to get you to move forward. It's all to get you, it's to get to, it's for you to see where you still are triggered and heal from that. So you can elevate from it and not keep um, stumbling over this same thing over and over. Okay. All right, Aries. Believe in the impossible. There are blessings coming. There are people around you who um, may be blessing you. You feel very blessed to be around these people or these people feel blessed to have you in their lives all right and this it allows you to be a lot more free beautiful moving on to last but not least my beautiful Sagittarius what's the overall energy for Sagittarius in September this is for Sagittarius Okay, balance, spirituality, and practicality. That's the overall theme. So remain balanced. Aries just got this um, same theme. So fire signs, remain balanced. Work through your fear, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. 
because there's a new start coming and you can't have those fears in this new start, in this new phase of life. Emotions may be running high because you're having to battle, battle through the dark night of the soul, battle through these fears, work through these fears and really stand up to them. But it's going to allow you to show the world the real you. Okay. So I see Scorpio, Pisces and Aquarius already. So let's see. So what's the love energy surrounding you? The people in your environment. How are you feeling? How are these people making you feel? In September. How are you going to be feeling in love in September? How are these people loving you? This is for Sagittarius. Communication. Okay, so you guys are really talking, communicating, working things out, sorting things out. A lot of communication in September. So make I hear drink a lot of water. And then we have innocence. So there's something that is very pure and very innocent going on as well. Could be a new child. You're teaching somebody something with your actions, with your words. Let's see. Yeah, you're showing the world the real you. I feel like this innocence is just you being vulnerable. It kind of reminds me of the star card, being vulnerable, being open, just completely exposed. The purity and the innocence of being your true, raw, unfiltered self. And I feel like you may be fearful of showing the world the real you. Don't, okay? You could be getting messages and communication from friends, family members, co-workers, spirit, your angels. All right. 18 plus messages. I love the faces. Whoa, hold on. I love the faces you make during sex. That's what they said. Okay. If you didn't already, check out the, um, the short that I did. There's going to be a link to the short. And there are more important messages for you guys to watch over there. Okay. All right. They said, I, I love the faces you make during sex. What else is happening for Sagittarius in September 2022? Somebody has a foot fetish and they love sucking toes and they love rubbing on your feet. I think Sagittarius like that, though. I think they like that. Sex makes me crazy. Gosh, we were on a roll. This was good. This was innocent. The <laughs> But sex makes this person crazy. <sighs> shower sex. Okay. So y'all are having shower sex. Probably straight in the morning. Y'all get in the shower. Y'all have shower sex. Or just. It don't matter. If y'all are in the mood to do it. Hey let's do it in the shower. They said put your thumb in it as well. Now y'all getting a little hot and heavy now. A little steamy now. Sag. I talked to my family about you. I talked to my family about us. Leo got this card. Okay, so you can have Leo in your chart or Leo could be of some significance. Last card. I want more than just sex, Sagittarius. Now, you're going to have to figure this out, but I am I want more than just sex. I don't know what you got going on, but you're going to have to make it to where this is more than just sex. <laughs> I don't know what you got to do, but get it done. Okay. All right. So tell me about Sagittarius's person that's coming in in September. Maybe this could be somebody you already know and they'll be um, entering into September with you. Or this is just the energy around you in September. Sorry for the noise. All right. And love. Messages for Sagittarius and love. We have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, Leo got this card as well. Leo could be important. We have the Death card. Death and Rebirth. So, I see Earth and Scorpio. What's going on for Sagittarius? Love messages for Sagittarius in September. We have the Nine of Swords. What are you so stressed about? There are... We do have Scorpio already coming out. Work through your fears. There's something you're afraid of. So maybe a transition. Maybe you're afraid of having to start all over. Maybe you're afraid of having to be vulnerable. Express how you feel and be your true authentic self. 
okay? This could be, you know, what you believe, your religion, uh, your sexuality, your preferences. You know, this could be you entering into a new field, a new job, a new career study. This could be, I hear, this could be somebody losing their virginity as well. Also, I hear arranged marriage. So maybe somebody's going to be with a, a, their husband. Okay, we have your card here, temperance. Clarify temperance for Sagittarius in love. All right. That wanted to come out. We have the Three of Swords. So needing a lot of healing within the heart, okay? So that love can enter into your life. I feel like this is what this fear is. Really working on yourself and admitting to yourself that you're hurting. And admitting to yourself that you do you do want love. You do want love, Sagittarius. We have the Seven of Cups. You've just been putting yourself on the back burner so long. Which is odd. You're a Sagittarius. And I don't mean and I don't mean this in a bad way, but Sagittarius are used to are normally known for being selfish. Alright, we have your energy here as well with the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about love coming in for Sagittarius. There we go, the sun. I keep telling you, Leo keeps showing up. I'm getting Leo energy. So Leo may be of some importance. There's big changes, happy changes, good karma and good fate coming in to bring in your happy day, to bring in your newness, to bring in your fulfillment, to bring in this love. It could be with friends or family. Okay, because the energy and love that I'm seeing is love is coming in, but you decided that you're going to work to work on yourself first. Okay. I see it. There's a lot of transformation. So spirit is going to let you work on yourself first. I feel like honestly, love is guaranteed, but there's a balance and a patience that needs to be had first because we do have work through your fears. Work through those fears because, oops, sorry. There's a new start coming, a new start in love, a new start in career, a new start in self-love, a new start in romance. So show the world the real you. Emotions may be running high. Because you've got these fears to work through and these endings coming up. So stay balanced. Okay. All right. And remain remain your remain your true authentic self. Look out for it, Leo. Or maybe you have Leo in your chart. Maybe Spirit is just telling you, hey, look towards your sister sign, Leo. Be strong, be courageous, be bold. Okay? And it's okay to be fixed sometimes. Because Leo is fixed energy. All right. So I see Leo, water, Sagittarius, Scorpio, earth, uh, water, and a, a little air. I don't go in until 11. Can you please not do that? Okay, fire signs, this is all I have for you. Check the description box. There's going to be a link to the short that I made for you guys as well. Until I see you again, I'm open for personal readings. Y'all be safe, and I love y'all. Bye-bye.